When I talk to theatre staff about human factors, and in particular about teamwork and leadership, one of the issues they raise very often is the issue of bullying and harassing and undermining behaviour. It's usually carried out by senior staff, people in positions of authority, against more junior levels of staff because they think they can get away with it. That often includes surgeons, and unfortunately they often do get away with it. Now it can be overt bullying and undermining behaviour, and we know that displays of that can really seriously affect the performance of the victim, and it can affect the performance of bystanders who witness it as well. But much more common, I think, is a low level of disrespectful behaviour. And an example of that would be surgeons who don't get engaged in joint activities, particularly, for example, the time out, the pause before we start the incision of an operation where we check the patient's identity and consent form. And I've seen surgeons tapping their foot and staring at the ceiling while the nursing staff do this check and you can hear them thinking, get on with it, we're wasting time. That sort of behaviour undermines teamwork and it undermines patient safety. When I see surgeons doing that sort of thing, it doesn't make me proud of my profession. Let's cut it out. <laughs>